In the 90s and 2000s, it was like anywhere in the world. You looked, there were players of pure brilliance everywhere at the midfield position, especially, and just watching any of them play looked like pure magic. But there was one from Italy, who a pretty decent amount of people actually believed was the greatest of his generation. And his name was Andrea Pirlo, easily one of the greatest maestros the game has ever seen. But how good was Andrea Pirlo, really? How does he rank up with the best midfielders in the world? Andrea Pirlo grew up in the northern Italian town of Brescia, completely immersed in the world of football. Even at the age of 10, he was already recognized as a prodigy in his hometown. After playing for various youth academies, he officially joined his local Brescia Youth Academy at 13. Pirlo made his professional debut for Brescia at just 16 in 1995 becoming the youngest player in the squad. Despite his age, he quickly became a regular in the first team. Due to his remarkable vision and ability to control the game's tempo, what set him apart was his calm demeanor on the field. He never seemed flustered and played with the composure of a seasoned veteran, even when facing much older opponents. In the 1996 to 97 season, at the age of 17, Pierlo played a crucial role in helping his team clinch the top spot in the Italian second division, earning them promotion to Serie A. During his debut season in Italy's top league, Pierlo quickly emerged as the standout young midfielder in the country. His exceptional performances attracted the attention of several top clubs, with the 17-year-old consistently delivering masterful playmaking displays that captivated Italy's football scene. Pirlo remained instrumental for Brescia, aiding their transition from a Serie B side to a mid-table Serie A team. However, his trajectory took a significant turn when Italian giants Inter Milan came calling. Despite joining the club, Pirlo struggled for playing time and was subsequently loaned out to Regina and his former club Brescia. It was during his final loan spell with Brescia, at the age of 20, that Pirlo experienced a pivotal moment in his career. Playing alongside Italian legend Roberto Baggio, who occupied the attacking midfield role, Pirlo was shifted to a deeper holding midfield position. This change proved transformative for Pirlo, unlocking a new dimension to his game. With increased involvement and opportunities to dictate play, Pirlo's exceptional vision and composure came to the fore. He displayed unparalleled awareness on the pitch, consistently spotting openings and executing precise passes over varying distances with remarkable accuracy. Even under pressure, Pirlo remained unfazed, rarely conceding possession as he calmly distributed the ball to his teammates, showcasing his ability to control the tempo of the game effectively. Pirlo shares many similarities with another legendary midfielder, Xavi. However, one key distinction lies in Pirlo's deadly free-kick technique, boasting both range and accuracy that made him a threat from up to 30 yards out. Beyond his individual skills, Pirlo's understanding of his role on the pitch and his teammates' positions made him a superb team player. Despite not being the most physically imposing player, Pirlo's relentless work ethic and constant movement allowed him to consistently impact the game. What truly set Pirlo apart was his unique style of play. He didn't need to look at his teammates to deliver the perfect pass, simply instructing them to run while he orchestrated the play. With his signature long hair and graceful movements, Pirlo was akin to an artist on the pitch, conducting the game with finesse and precision, making the ball dance to his rhythm. Pirlo truly made a name for himself during the under-21 UEFA European Championship, where he captained the Italian squad to victory, earning both the championship title and the title of the tournament's best player. This success propelled him into the spotlight, leading to his signing with the prestigious AC Milan, joining a powerhouse squad that included legendary players like Rivaldo and Andriy Shevchenko. Pirlo proved to be a vital addition, providing stellar support and creating numerous goal-scoring opportunities. The 2002-2003 season showcased Pirlo's exceptional skills as he dominated Syria in several categories, including passes played, successful passes, successful balls, and goals scored. 
His contributions were instrumental in AC Milan's triumphs in the Coppa Italia and the UEFA Champions League, breaking a nearly decade-long drought for the club, despite experiencing heartbreak in the Champions League final against Liverpool in 2005. Pirlo continued to excel, helping AC Milan secure the UEFA Cup and another Serie A title. His performance in the 2006 World Cup further solidified his status as one of the greatest midfielders of all time. Throughout the tournament, Pirlo demonstrated remarkable passing accuracy, defensive prowess and playmaking abilities, ultimately playing a crucial role in Italy's victory, earning him the title of World Cup Final Man of the Match and the bronze ball for the tournament's third best player. This success marked only the beginning of Pirlo's illustrious career. Pirlo truly made a name for himself during the under-21 UEFA European Championships, where he captained the Italian squad to victory, earning both the championship title and the title of the tournament's best player. After the 2006 World Cup, AC Milan continued their success in the 2006-2007 season, clinching the UEFA Super Cup and securing a rematch against Liverpool in the Champions League final. Pirlo played a pivotal role in the final, orchestrating the midfield with 76 passes in the opposition half and creating five major scoring opportunities, ultimately helping AC Milan secure their second Champions League trophy of the season. During his tenure at AC Milan, Pirlo amassed an impressive collection of trophies, including two Serie A titles, one Coppa Italia, two UEFA Super Cups, one FIFA Club World Cup and two Champions League trophies. Despite these achievements, Pirlo yearned for a new challenge and, at the age of 32, made the bold decision to join Juventus. Many doubted the move due to his age and perceived decline in physical abilities. However, Pirlo defied expectations, showcasing that like fine wine. His skills only improved with age. He continued to excel on the field, winning numerous individual awards and becoming a vital asset to Juventus. His exceptional vision, composure, passing accuracy and ball control remained at their peak, contributing significantly to Juventus's success. Pirlo's prowess in set pieces, including free kicks and penalties, further bolstered Juventus's dominance in Italian football, culminating in four consecutive Serie A titles from 2011 to 2015 solidifying their reign as the powerhouse of Italian football in the first half of the decade. Pirlo's impact on the football world is undeniable. Throughout his illustrious career, he garnered numerous accolades and left an indelible mark on the sport. Named into the Serie A Team of the Year for three consecutive seasons and winning the Serie A Footballer of the Year award three times, along with the Serie A Midfielder of the Year award in 2012, Pirlo's passing accuracy was unparalleled, consistently averaging over 90% during his time with Juventus. With 116 Champions League appearances and 18 goals, he cemented himself as one of the competition's top performers. Additionally, boasting the highest passing accuracy in Serie A, history at 89.5%, Pirlo's influence extended beyond individual honours. He clinched six Serie A titles, two Italian Cups, and five Italian Super Cups, accumulating over 600 career appearances, 72 goals, and over 100 assists. Named the Serie A Footballer of the Year thrice, and included in the UEFA Team of the Year on three occasions, Pirlo's contributions to the game were monumental. Dubbed the architect, Pirlo inspired a generation of players to emulate his artistry, leaving a lasting impact on football. A true master of his craft, Pirlo's grace, intelligence and creativity on the pitch ensured his place as one of the all-time greatest midfielders in football history. His legacy will continue to inspire and influence future generations of footballers for years to come, solidifying his status as an artist, visionary and true master of the game.